Hello friends welcome back to my channel as promised i'm back with a new series of infra projects in which we'll cover various upcoming mega projects coming up in different capital cities of india as india steps into a new decade which is also referred to as decade it is pertinent that the nation walks in tandem with the needs and aspirations of the young indian citizens keeping this in mind in this video we will understand what are the various mega projects coming up in the city which is also dubbed as the silicon valley of india yes it is the most beautiful city of pearls hyderabad we'll also focus on commercial and civil projects too right so before we proceed if you're new to this channel i would request you to please like share and subscribe subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon positively to remain updated also do watch this video till the end as lots of interesting content has been clubbed in this video only for you hyderabad urban district in its present shape has come into existence in august 1978 consequent on formation of a new district rangareddy from the erstwhile hyderabad district All the rural areas of erstwhile Hyderabad district have been included in Rangareddy district while the area of municipal corporation of Hyderabad excluding a small part Secunderabad cantonment Lala Guda and Osmania university are also included in Hyderabad district there are 64 villages in the district and they are grouped into erstwhile talukas Charminar Golconda Murshidabad and Secunderabad Hyderabad is the capital of one of the most tech savvy state of India that is Telangana the previous name of this city was Bagyanagaram this city is also called as the city of pearls because of the major dealing of pearls that is done from this part of the state Hyderabad was founded in 1591 and planned as a grid with the charminar at its center it has now grown well beyond the confines of the original walled city including a new town north of the musi river the military cantonment at Secunderabad and a burgeoning high tech estate nicknamed Cyberabad the state capital being in this district it is highly developed in all aspects with a view to bringing up the administration to the door steps of the people to solve their problems upliftment of the people the government as a policy took a decision to restructure the lower level administrative setup in the state consequently revenue mandal were also set up hyderabad district is a city district in the state of telangana which includes a part of the metropolitan capital city area of hyderabad it is the smallest in terms of area among all the districts in the state but has the highest human density hyderabad district occupies an area of approximately 217 square kilometers according to the 2011 census the population of this district was 39,43,323. Hyderabad is known as the city of pearls as it had once flourished as a global center for trade of rare diamonds, emeralds as well as natural pearls. Having understood various facets of the capital city of Hyderabad, let us move ahead to understand the top 5 biggest mega projects that are coming up in different parts of the city. We'll be moving in the descending order depending on the nature of the mega project. Taking the fifth position is the 5000 crore sewage treatment projects. It goes without saying that the importance of water purification is rapidly increasing considering the fact that water pollution is growing leaps and bounds choking the urban cities with intensely bad odor and affecting health of every citizens in order to put an end to this menace hyderabad is taking the lead and prioritizing the need for sewage treatment plant to treat the pungent water before being discharged into the river or lakes in a major thrust to drinking water and sewerage infrastructure in hyderabad are an agglomeration the state government approved two mega projects worth over rupees 5000 crore through two separate government orders once completed hyderabad would emerge as the only city in the country to achieve 100% sewage treatment the rupees 5000 crore mega project which calls for installing an unprecedented 31 sewage treatment plant in the city to treat the sewage water stating that the two mega projects would be completed in 2 years the minister stated that 31 sewage treatment plants would be established in addition to the existing 25 sewage treatment plant as at an estimated cost of rupees 3866.21 crore this will make hyderabad the only city in the country to achieve 100% sewage treatment the project will be taken up in hybrid annuity model under which the state government will bear 40% of the project cost and the remaining will be borne by contracting agencies fourth spot is filled by the drone corridor coming up in hyderabad 
as the central government rolled out the drone policy 2021 drastically reducing the compliances helping the all new industry to fly high in the true sense of the term with minimal permission and regulations the government has given a clarion call that they are all ready to make india a drone hub by 2030 the telangana government plans to establish a drone testing corridor in the state soon considering the boom in the drone industry with the state fast emerging as an aero engine cluster with numerous foreign and domestic industry majors operating out of hyderabad and with aerospace and defense sector witnessing a steady growth the state government is also working closely with industry and academic partners to establish an aerospace defense university or center of excellence as well as an incubator for startups the state had attracted mega investment from leading foreign and domestic aerospace majors through its progressive policies world class infrastructure proactive skilling initiatives and focus on innovation the telangana government was in discussion with defense research and development organization and several other labs and urged the industry to work closely with the state government to partner and come up with a strong defense aerospace incubator that would focus on startups hyderabad also has a significant space sector cluster as part of isro programs third position is taken by the futuristic aqua hub telangana which has become synonymous with several innovative and first of its kind projects in the country will soon be home to the world's largest integrated freshwater aqua hub proposed to be set up near mid manai dam in rajanna circular district The project which is being given a final shape will be an end to end facility and will be taken up under the intensive fish culture method. The intensive fish culture is a model that aims at achieving maximum production of fish by utilizing a minimum quantity of water. It is the best managed form of fish farming that involves a high level of investment, inputs and latest technology and at the same time ensures high yields and profits. This form of fish farming can be taken up throughout the year. The project will come up in more than 500 acres near mid menai dam and will encompass all activities including fish seed production feed production cage culture and fish processing among others the officials have already identified about 310 acres for the purpose and the remaining land is likely to be acquired once the project is finalized the mid menai dam will facilitate large scale fresh water cage culture which is otherwise taken up mostly in the sea while about 3000 persons will get direct employment on account of the project at least 10000 more persons will get indirect employment the project will be grounded before 2023 The second position is taken by the BSR IT SEZ coming up in Hyderabad. BSR IT SEZ has been designed exclusively to house top multinational corporations and world class enterprises. This magnificent building is a perfect combination of modernism and conducive amenities that a new age business demands. The presence of high tech amenities amidst abundant green space makes this project stand out. This beautifully designed SEZ with all backward and forward linkages filled in structurally will help mnc behmots to set up their units moreover the plug and play system will allow the mncs to overcome the harassment and blockades as it will aid the mncs to establish their houses with ease and comfort Speaking about the same at the start of the year Fortune 500 company Mass Mutual signed an agreement with the state government to set up their first unit outside USA due to extraordinary facilities and a vibrant research and development centers of excellence in Hyderabad Taking the first position is the all new US consulate which is under construction in Hyderabad The world class upcoming US consulate in Hyderabad presently located at the Pai Ghar Palace in Begumpet is expected to start functioning out of its new and larger office in the financial district at nanak room goda near gachibowli only by the middle of 2022 The move to a new location was expected to take place this year. However, owing to the COVID-induced restriction, the construction of the new building was delayed. Apart from Telangana residents, the US consulate in Hyderabad also caters to people from Andhra Pradesh and Odisha. The new US consulate general building will help US visa seekers immensely as it will have 54 consular interview windows compared to the 14 at the Paiga Palace office currently. Also, many environmentally friendly initiatives are being taken up at the new building. including solar panels on site wastewater treatment and natural lighting the new office premises will be spread in a 12 acre area featuring rock formations and landscaping while the architecture has been inspired by the topography of deccan plains with this we have come to the end of this video it is for sure that the tech enabled city of hyderabad is all set to establish a benchmark for the entire country in the times to come please like share and subscribe the channel to remain updated about various mega projects coming up in various regions of the nation 
Also, if you want to watch the upcoming mega projects in Telangana, then I've already put out the video on it. You may click on the i button and also the link is mentioned in the description below. Thanks for watching this video till the end. Jai Hind.